Let me explain this High Street Brands making cycling kit. Oh, I suppose I'll sit down on it. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I thought I'd buy like a full set from somewhere. Um, didn't realise it was a thing that they actually sold until it just popped up on my Instagram. So I thought I'd give it a go. So this is H&M. H&M have built, have brought out a a bib, a jersey, and two jerseys, and I think like some socks. But I got a bib and a jersey just to see what it's like against, for example, a personal opinion, against uh, like a DHB or like a Lacole. Because obviously Lacole was like a higher price point. This The bib for this one was about 60 quid, I think. DHB you get in sale most of the time for like 15, 20 quid. The jerseys you can get for like, again, 15, 20 quid. And I think the jersey for this was 40. I think I spent like £105 all in um, on a jersey than bib shorts. So I'm going to go for a ride, see how they feel. And I wish I could have filmed this in a better aesthetic, like my studio, but considering I'm back at to, to and from London, it doesn't really work very well, unfortunately. So it's a lot harder to do this one-handed than I actually thought it would be, so bear with me. So, this is the jersey. The jersey I thought was white, this actually looks pretty pink. Uh, that's my oh, no, it's a gradient to white, I think. Is it? Or is it like, I think it's like a pearlescent. Anyway, right, here's the, here's the jersey. Nice brown bib shorts. So, let me take them out and see what they look like. a bit different hey Woo! all right straight back from london from bali and we are back on the bike just for a quick 20 mile spin get feeling good it's the key and back try out this new try out the new jersey see how i feel literally just x to the key and then back again maybe a little climb see how it goes all right enjoy Undo my, my zip 
and it's absolutely roasting. And it's like, I actually have no idea what temperature is at the moment. But so far, I mean, we're what, 20 minutes in, bum's feeling all right. Not hurting too much, well, not hurting at all, really. The chamois doing its job. Even with my saddle being the worst thing in human history. But yeah, so far so good. Like, I look all right. Um, bit expensive. Yeah, in general, feeling good. I'll continue the ride on and see how it feels a little bit later on. people that watch this and might notice yes I am wearing tennis socks I am not proud of it but I couldn't find my could not find my cycling socks <laughs> judge me freely I deserve it <laughs> yes now we're 35 minutes in bum still feels all right sweating my tits off but been all right. I've definitely lost a lot of fitness because I'm pretty tired. But I did literally get in, play around with these tops, and then bugger straight out. So, you know, chilled 20 miles, maybe 22, but chilled nonetheless. I was in air quotes apparently. It's about 60 and a half miles an hour on my average. So, sweet. Looks alright as well, to be fair. And I'm also vibing on my playlist. My playlist is vibes. I feel like I've done this ride about 15 times now. Or I've shown it about 10 times. Most people are enjoying the sunshine, but that's how it's getting nice and hot. So now I'm going for my Enrique and Glaciers, or because I'm British and a bit chubby, let's just say Simon Cow. Yeah, Simon Cow is a good shout. And also, Rafa definitely have the market at the moment. Like, I don't see a lot of map, which I prefer to Rafa. I mean, I don't, I don't even own Rafa, so I can't give my opinion. Yeah, I don't, I don't see really, I see a couple bits of map and I'm like, yeah, my guy. But everyone, like, I would say like, five to 10 people that go past are wearing Rafa, two of 10 wearing DHB. No one wearing H&M, what's up? Alright, so normally enough, my GoPro is like dying with, I came out with 50%. I've not done that much filming. I'm not too sure how or why it's already dead, but it is, so maybe I end the video. Yeah, 